Gotham premieres one week from today on Fox with a new lineup of villains sketching up the alleyways of the city. We hung out with the cast to go over the rap sheet for the show's sophomore season. So we have multiple new villains, season two, but the primary ones are a brother-sister combination. Their names are Theo Galavan and Tabitha. They may or may not become characters from the mythology, but at this point they are uh, an extremely wealthy man uh, by the name of Theo who comes to Gotham seemingly to clean it up, seemingly to make it livable for its citizenry, but he may have a darker motive. Now, you had a big fight scene with Barbara Keene in the finale. That left a mark. Yeah, I'm did not going to lie to you. I had really? crazy bruises all <laughs> over my knees for weeks. It was really fun, actually, and a couple of times we had to like really go for it because they, they, we did the double set a few times and they wanted us to do it, and that girl's strong. She's freakishly strong. Somebody ate the yogurt in her fridge that morning. She, was, she blamed Leslie, but she was so angry. She loves yogurt. No, she thought Leslie was stealing her man, and she was. Is this the beginning of a villainous side for your character? I think it might be, yes. How quickly do you think we'll see Edward become a true villain? I, well, I think something happens after. I think something happens after anyone uh, commits such a heinous crime. It's kind of like a gateway drug experience. The next step is just somehow easier. So he'll do some very upsetting, surprising things very quickly. Which other Batman villain do you want to team up with? The Riddler. I mean, the easiest question ever. Corey Michael Smith, I am a fan of his personally, and you know, we had that one scene together. You know, I think I can safely say that there will be more of that, and it's just such a blessing when you're able to work with people who inspire you. Our entire cast, like, everyone is setting the bar, you know, like, so, so it's like we're all like trying to meet each other. What are you excited the most for Bruce to do this season? Transform to Batman. Give me the cape. I need it now. No, I think I think that season two is really you're really gonna start to see his transformation. Um, he in so many different ways. Lucius Fox is gonna come, gonna have some more interaction with him. Finding what whatever's in that stairwell at the end is gonna be a, a turning point in Bruce's life in so many different aspects. One of those is the Bruce Alfred relationship. I feel like um, they're gonna go through a really rocky patch because of it. But once they get through it, they're gonna be a team and instead of but constantly butting heads like they have been. This Alfred has a little bit of a darker past. He's a little bit of a bruiser. Did this surprise you when you read about this interpretation, that this Alfred was gruffer? It was, I mean, it was mentioned. Um, it, the, the process is, it was a very interesting one, actually, getting the part in the first place, because we didn't know, I didn't know what it was. It was a brilliant sort of generic speech written about a guy going to a pub. And I read this piece, and, it, and of course, it turned out to be Alfred Pennyworth, but he was an East Ender. He was hard as nails. Bruno and Danny sort of said, write a Bible, write a character synopsis. So I wrote this Bible about it, and, and, I, and I mentioned I'd like to be, would have been in the, the, the Special Air Service, because if you think about it, why on earth would the richest man in the world employ like an East Ender for no apparent reason? But it's obvious he was in the military. There's an expression in England called Batman, which is someone who carries a bat. Long tradition in the, in the, from military to basically be a gentleman's gentleman. And that's what he would have been. He would have been a confidant. He would have been his protectorate. My, my theory is he was over there, really, to aid his ailing father, who was their butler at the time, Jarvis. He passed away and he took the mantle on. <laughs> the young Master Bruce was born. And that's why he's there. And boy, what a bumpy relationship they have. If you need to catch up on all the murder mysteries from Gotham last year, you can pick up season one on Blu-ray and DVD right now. And if you need updates from all of DC's latest TV hits, be sure to click subscribe to DC All Access.